Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be showing y'all a bunch of different ways to style up an ankle boot. I filmed a video like this back in 2018 and since then that video has gotten about 100,000 views but also my personal style has changed quite a bit so I wanted to give you guys an updated lookbook on how to style an ankle boot. I'm gonna start off the video kind of like I did with my previous video from 2018 by showing you guys some of my favorite boots that are just worn repeatedly from my closet. Hopefully this will give you guys some ideas on adding new styles to your wardrobe or branching out and trying something a little bit different if you don't have a specific style. So like always, everything will be linked down below in the description box. I will also have a blog post linked in the description box of all of the outfits listed out because I feel like it's so much easier to see it visually. So if you like shopping that way, I'll also have dupes for the boots that I'm showing you guys as well as some great price point items for maybe some of the pieces from the outfit. So if you like shopping that way and you want way more resources for finding different lookalikes, the blog post will be linked in the description box as well as the comment section. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start off with the pair of boots that I have worn the most. I've actually had these, I think for two or three years at this point. And sadly, these ones are no longer available, but I really wanna highlight on these because this is to me the most easy pair to style of all the boots that I'm gonna show you guys. This is a classic black Western boot. Western has been so in lately and I really like these specifically because they have the pointed toe which helps elongate the legs. They also have a really great heel height so it's not quite a high heel but you are getting a little bit of elevation with the heel. And what's really great about this specific style is that you have the same black leather and black heel. There are some pairs that I'll link in the blog post that have a wood kind of brown heel. I think that's a great style as well, but if you want a really sleek look that can be worn kind of day and night, I actually would opt into a full black on black style. So this is probably like my most worn style. I love a Chelsea boot, ankle boot that has a black sole as well as the actual boot itself. So this is my number one pair. And like I said, I will have options at different price points for this specific style linked in the blog post and in the description box if you are interested in any of these. Western boots, like I said, are super, super popular. This is probably my second most worn pair so far this year. This is a pair from Madewell. These ones are actually current, so I'll have these linked. These are a pair of suede boots. They are Chelsea boot style, so they've got the elastic here. You just pull them on and they have like I said the two-tone heel so they actually have a pair like this at Madewell that is the black leather with the wood heel which I think looks really really good but I do see a difference between like an all black boot and a black boot with like a brown heel it's like the little things that I feel like really tie together an outfit but these ones I wear so consistently I love the suede material it's very very feminine just because it is that really nice light taupe and then I really like the two-tone in this so this is a pair that I would highly recommend and they're so so cute with dresses skirts jeans you name it you can get a ton of wear out of these. And if you have consistently like brown or black boots, I think this taupe suede is a really beautiful option. Let's get into the classic Chelsea boot. So this is more of like a classic Chelsea. It is a rounded toe like this. These ones are from Everlane. This is what I mean by the black boot with the two-tone heel. So these ones are relatively new to my wardrobe and I got them because I also have them in brown, which I'm not gonna style these ones up in the video. I'm gonna style these ones, but I wanted to show you guys my two favorite colors from the Everlane site. I think they also have these in like a cream slash white color, which would also be really beautiful, but I feel like the black is super durable. A black pair of Chelsea is kind of a classic. And again, it's got the elastic here on the side, so you just slip them on. These ones are really great specifically because they have the rubber sole, so they're really, really comfortable to wear throughout the day, like these and that pair of tan ones that I have, I wear all day long, and because they've got that rubber bottom, they are really, really comfortable, kind of like Doc Martens. Anything with like a rubber sole are gonna be more comfortable throughout the day. So these ones are from Everlane and these are still current. And I wanted to show you guys another pair from Everlane that I really like. I'm not gonna style them up because 
I feel like that would be a little bit overload, but I wanted to do like an honorable mention about these because this is a really great Chelsea option if you want something a little bit more modern looking. So this is what I would consider like the classic Chelsea. It's a little bit like rugged. It's a little bit more casual. This one I believe is still at Everlane as well. And this one has a square toe and it's a little bit more sleek. See the black on black? I feel like it just makes it a little less casual, a little bit less like outdoorsy vibes, if you know what I mean. So these ones I really, really like if I'm wearing more of like a sleek outfit. It's got the elastic here on the sides and the front. And then this one has a wood sole. So these ones actually are not as comfortable as these. I wouldn't say they're uncomfortable because they're not like a high heel, but these ones are definitely a little bit more like you feel things in your feet when you wear these, whereas these are kind of like cloud-like. Next up is a glove style boot. So I feel like the knit boot became really, really popular like three years ago. All of the celebrities were wearing them. I think mostly of like Kim Kardashian and like Kylie Jenner wearing the sock boots, but I really love the sock boot because they are so, so comfy and they're just a really unique take on of boots so if you are wanting to add something to your wardrobe that is a little bit different than what you have in your closet the sock boot is a really great addition especially if you can get it in a neutral color where you can kind of wear them and sub them out for the boots that you would wear typically the sock boot is just a little bit more of an elevated style than a leather boot so these ones are from Everlane I believe these are still available if they're not I'll have something similar linked down below but I love any type of sock boot that kind of hugs the ankle I feel like that's the whole point of the sock boot is that they're supposed to be a little bit fitted. These ones are almost like a kind of greenish tan color. Of course, you could get them in black, which you could wear with most things. And then also you could probably get them in brown as well. But I really love having a pair of sock boots. I feel like it kind of takes my outfit to the next level. And the last pair of boots, I would just call in the category of like a statement boot. So that could be anywhere from like a boot with hardware, a boot with sequins, a white boot to me is always like a statement boot. These ones are from Free People and I always wear these when I want them to kind of like make the outfit pop. So these ones are obviously kind of ridiculously high. They have quite a big heel, but they're also a little bit of a platform. So if you're shorter like me, these would be a great addition to your wardrobe. They also come in a bunch of different colors. I feel like I've seen this cream the most, but I really, really love these. I just think these are such a statement. And again, if you're looking to kind of freshen up the boots that you have in your closet, these are a really great option. I've also seen some similar pairs at Target that I'll link down below in case you are wanting to save a little bit. But these ones I've gotten a ton of wear out of over the last, I guess, year at this point. I got these last year and I feel like these will be in my closet for a while. Also, they're really comfortable because they're the rubber bottoms. So for this first look, I've got on the Free People Statement Platform boots. I could also wear the Madewell suede boots with this as well because I love a tonal moment. So a lot of beige going on, a lot of browns, neutrals, but this outfit I feel like works really well with the cream colored boots because I've got a cream color sweater on. So even though I've got a lot of browns going on, I like to kind of balance out the top with my shoes. So I've got on the cream boot, a cream sweater, and then I have on these really incredible cord pants. I really like breaking out cord around fall and winter to just break up a lot of the denim that I end up wearing every day. So I've got on these cord pants. These are like the perfect vintage jean style from Madewell and they're some of my favorite. They also come in blush. And then I have on this really great shirt jacket. I love chocolate brown right now. If you've watched any of my videos in the last few weeks, you have probably heard me mention chocolate brown at some point. It's my favorite color right now. And so I'm taking advantage of the season and wearing it any chance I get. So I love this chocolate brown jacket. And then to kind of keep the beige moment going, I've got on the beige crossbody from Gucci. This is the chain wallet. And I love that I've got a really chunky shoe on with a more like delicate petite bag. I love the proportions with any sort of like bulky jacket to wear something that's a little bit more sleek in the bag. So this is my first outfit. Obviously you could switch out the boots with a black pair of Chelsea boots, but I really, really like tying in the cream sweater with my shoes. This next look would be perfect if you go into the office and you're wanting to 
wear your Chelsea boots in a more professional setting or if you just like dressing like this, which I personally do. So if you're a big fan of blazers, the Chelsea boot or the Western boot honestly can fit really seamlessly into your style. So for this outfit, I've got on my black Western boot and I feel like the pointed toe looks really nice with a more tailored pant. So these are the Everlane Dream Pants. They feel like sweatpants, but they look like trousers, which is my favorite thing about these. I wear them all the time. I think I have them in maybe four colors now. I just love them that much. So I really like the way that it looks with the black boot. It just really elongates the leg. It's a much more tapered style and then I've got on a turtleneck from Alex Mill This is a very dark kind of heathered gray knit and you could also wear just a solid black turtleneck underneath it or a tank top if it's a little bit warmer where you live, but I really love mixing it up instead of doing all black from head to toe, doing a darker gray to give it some dimension. And then for my jacket, I've got on this camel blazer. This is from Everlane. I really like this blazer because it's more of a lightweight. It kind of slouches. You could go for a more structured piece if you wanted. If you're wearing like a tank or a thinner shirt, a structured blazer would be beautiful. Since the sweater is a little bit thicker and if you plan on like taking it off during the day and just wearing your thicker sweater wherever you work this is a really great option because it is a little bit more lightweight so this is the outfit and to match my boots I've got on a black crossbody bag from Madewell I love this one because it's a really great size and it also has a top handle so this is how I would style up these black boots a little bit more professionally so I don't typically wear a lot of blue denim in the fall and winter I normally will wear black denim if I do opt into wearing denim however the accessories is always with a leather jacket. I love the look of a pair of like distressed blue denim with any sort of leather jacket, whether it's cropped, whether it has shearling in it. I love the moto look with the blue denim. So I've got on these jeans from Madewell. They have really great rips in them. And then I have on, of course, this leather jacket. You can obviously get a cropped version of it if you want to show more of your waist. I'm actually loving this very casual kind of oversized look to this specific jacket, but I've got it paired over a black turtleneck sweater. And then I've got on, of course, my black Chelsea boot if you are not super into the Doc Martens or the Moto boots anything with laces like that the Chelsea boot is like a perfect casual boot for you because they definitely give off very casual laid-back kind of like outdoorsy rough and tough vibes but at the same time they can be dressed up whereas I feel like with Doc Martens or those types of boots, you really do have to play into how grungy they are. Of course, there are exceptions, but Chelsea boots are a little bit less grunge, but still very casual. So I love these Chelsea boots with this outfit. I feel like it makes it super laid back and casual. And then to play into the casual vibes, I've got on my fleece belt bag from Lululemon, which I just got literally today. And I was so excited that it came today because I knew I wanted to style it up for you guys. So this is how I would wear it. Obviously, this is like like a very casual fit but I feel like because you've got the black leather in the jacket and the black leather in the boots you can do a different color bag instead of doing all black everything I feel like it's fun to have a pop with the bag so this is a very very casual fit whenever I style up a sock boot or any type of knit booty I really like to have wide leg pants on I don't know why that is I don't wear my sock boots a ton with like mom jeans or with even like skinny jeans. I really like them with straight leg denim or wide leg pants. So I've got on this pair of cream wide leg pants from Zara. These ones I actually ended up having to cut myself. So I don't think they're still available, but I think a pair of beige wide leg pants are like a staple for your wardrobe. And then I also have on this very fitted Everlane turtleneck underneath this cardigan that I got from Walmart. I really love layering turtlenecks under sweaters right now. I discovered this last year, which I know I am very, very late to that trend that has been happening for a very long time. I'm aware of that, but I just recently started doing it last winter. I started putting turtlenecks underneath all my sweaters, underneath my cardigans like this, and I kind of fell in love with the style. So this is a little cardigan from Walmart. It's this beautiful olive green, and I just love it over the taupe turtleneck. And then of course, to kind of balance out all the neutrals that I've got going on, I threw on this JW Pay bag in this really pretty beige as well. I really love the 
beige bag with the beige pants and the beige turtleneck and then the shoes are a slightly different shade of beige so obviously i'm a big neutrals girl this is kind of how i would style up these boots i really really love mixing tones so even though they're all beige we have a lot of different versions of beige going on for this outfit so very cute very cozy obviously you could swap out the beige pants for a pair of wide leg black denim and that would look really great as well but i'm really loving this this beige moment that we've got going on. So for this next look, I decided to go very comfy, very casual. So I've got on this really incredible duster. This thing is so cozy and so soft. I love any type of cardigan duster. It's basically like wearing a robe or a blanket everywhere you go. So I've got it paired over this tank from Skims. And then I've got on a pair of black denim. These are the Everlane Original Cheeky Jean. And these are kind of like a mom jean style. So for this specific style of pant, I really like pairing them with like a Western booty. So I've got on those same Western booties that I wore earlier. And I feel like it just elongates the leg having a black pair of pants like this go right into the black boot and black bag of course to kind of match the shoes that's not necessarily a rule but sometimes when i'm styling up camel brown on brown if they're very like orangey shades of brown and different shades of orange i don't really like the look of that so if i am wearing something like this i probably wouldn't pair a brown bag over it just because this is such a distinct shade of camel so I opted into the safer option, which is a black bag, which matches the shoes. So to style up the suede Madewell Western booty, I've got on a pair of faux leather pants from Abercrombie. These are some of my favorite pants right now. They are so, so cute and flattering. They come in, I think, three or four different colors. They, of course, come in black if you want like a black faux leather pant, but I'm really Loving the chocolate brown, obviously. So I've got on the beige Western booty and then to kind of balance that out, I've got on a beige off-shoulder sweater from Revolve. I've been loving these kind of asymmetrical pieces lately. And then I've got on my beige Gucci bag. So this is a really cute date night look, girls night out look. Anytime I wear like a longer pant, I like to have a pointed toe booty. I feel like it just elongates the legs, especially if you're shorter like me and sometimes pants can run a little bit long on you. Having something with the slightest bit of heel and a pointed toe will just make your legs look a little bit longer. And if you're short like me, we need all the help we can get. So this is how I would dress up a suede Western booty. So for this next look, I've got on the Free People boots again, and I balanced it out with this really amazing Sherpa jacket from Abercrombie. It's a cropped fit, and I put this on, and I was like, yeah, this is gonna be one of my most worn pieces this season because the inside is like a soft, it, but I've got it paired over this chocolate brown knit tank from Madewell and to kind of tie in the chocolate brown underneath this I've got this bag from Avil with chocolate brown and plaid and I just love this plaid detailing I feel like that's very very full and then I've got on a pair of really great black denim these are the Everlane way high jeans that i ended up cutting the bottoms off of so if you want to learn how to cut your jeans and just dress them i'll put my video down below but this is a really cute casual outfit but i feel like the boots again are the statement of the outfit so really really casual but still very, very put together. For this next look, I am realizing that I need to get some new tights, first of all. I obviously just put these on for the first time this year, and I got these like a couple years ago, so the fact that they've made it this long is saying something, but I decided to go with the black Chelsea boot. I had originally put on the Madewell suede booty and then I made like a last second decision to switch it up, put on the black Chelsea boot because I kind of wanted it to be a little more casual to dress down the skirt a little bit. So this is a thrifted skirt that I got years ago, maybe like three or four years ago at this point. And you can kind of tell this is my first time wearing it this season because there's a crease in it, so I need to steam this, but I've got on a cashmere sweater underneath and then this really fun quilt jacket as like a pop of color. I really feel like the jacket is the statement. So I just went ahead and I matched my bag to my shoes. And I feel like this is a really, really cute way to wear a skirt a little bit more casually and comfortably throughout the day. So love the Chelsea boot for kind of all day wear and 
to kind of dress down the skirt. But those are all of my looks for how to style up ankle boots. I hope this gave you some inspiration, some outfit ideas on how to change up some styles for maybe some boots that you already own, or maybe it gave you some ideas on what to add to your wardrobe for this season. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below in the description box as well as the blog post if you want to check that out. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know what your favorite outfit was from this styling video. And if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos, I would love to have you back on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.